Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got an awesome hack to share with you. Sublimation DTF for cotton t-shirts. Whether you're running a small business or a large clothing manufacturing company, this technique can give you amazing printing results. Let's get started. Here's what we'll need. A cotton t-shirt. A Tifi Teflon sheet for the heat press. The HTV Rant manual heat press. DTF film. And DTF special hot melt adhesive powder. Grab a piece of DTF film. There's a label showing which side you can't print on, so make sure you get that right before you start printing. Put it into the sublimation printer, and the sublimation ink will adhere to the film according to the pattern you want to print. Goes through your printer and it comes out it's going to be wet. We need to sprinkle the DTF Special Hot Melt Adhesive Powder onto the wet ink. Make sure the powder covers the image evenly so the transfer effect is smooth and lasts a long time. Don't use too much or too little powder. Too much makes the transfer heavy, and too little affects the adhesion. Shake it back and forth to cover everything with powder. Then flick your finger a few times to get rid of the excess. You can see that every part of the pattern is evenly coated with powder. Next, let's move to the manual heat press and heat the powdered DTF film. My heating temperature is set to 380 degrees, and the time can be controlled between 2 minus 3 minutes. I set it to 150 seconds while we wait for it to heat up. I did a little experiment. How long does it take for the HTV Rant manual heat press to reach 380 degrees? Take a guess, and I'll reveal the answer at the end of the video. Once the temperature is ready, place the pattern face up on the heating pad. Don't press down the heating plate. Heat for 2 minus 3 minutes until the powder completely melts and solidifies on the image. Now, you can see that the colors of the pattern are more vivid and beautiful after heating. To enhance the adhesion and detail of the image and make the transfer clearer and more delicate. I added a second layer of powder. This second dusting helps fill in any areas that might have been missed during the first round. Ensuring the powder evenly covers the entire image. Adding the powder twice can also improve its wash resistance. Keeping it in good condition and less likely to peel off after multiple washes. And don't forget to collect any excess powder for recycling. Use the heat press again for 150 seconds at 380 degrees. The DTF film needs to cool down slightly. While waiting, let's prepare the fabric for transfer. Make sure the surface is clean and dust-free. Ironing the t-shirt flat before heat pressing the pattern will make it easier for the pattern to adhere. By the way, the HTV Rant manual heat press allows you to manually adjust the pressure based on what you're pressing. Turning it down increases the pressure, and turning it up decreases the pressure. Place the image film side down on the t-shirt and use a heat press at 380 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 seconds. Wait for the film and t-shirt to cool slightly. Then carefully peel off the film. To improve the washability of the image, use the heat press again for a final press at 380 degrees Fahrenheit for 5 to 10 seconds. That's it for today, I hope this information helps you better master the DTF process. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. The HTV Rant manual heat press heats up to 380 degrees Fahrenheit in just 8 minutes, did you guess it right? If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.